Hi, I'm Peter Travers, movie critic for Rolling Stone, and we're here to talk about what movies to see over this Thanksgiving weekend. Well, the number one movie to me, to me the best movie I've seen so far this year, is Milk, starring Sean Penn as Harvey Milk, who started as a community organizer. He came from New York but moved to San Francisco. And what everybody knows about him, basically, is that uh, in 1978, while he was a city supervisor, he was visiting the mayor, George Moscone, uh, and was assassinated by Dan White, uh, killed before his career was really starting. And what Harvey was was a gay activist, somebody that thought in the gay community you had to get people together so that there was no prejudice and so that gays could get jobs. You know, you can learn a lot about Harvey Milk from seeing the movie, but what I want to talk about as a critic is that Sean Penn's performance as Harvey Milk might be the very best thing he's ever done. And whoa, brother, is that saying something. He disappears inside this character. He is Harvey Milk. And the movie itself, which is directed by Gus Van Zandt, couldn't be more topical now, even though Harvey died in 1978. We see what happened in California with uh, Proposition 8 and the decision made by Californians that gay marriage should stay illegal in California. Uh, this is a movie about rights, but it's also a personal movie. And you have James Franco in the movie as, as Milk's lover. You have uh, Josh Brolin as Dan White, the assassin, who was also a city supervisor. These are all Oscar-worthy performances. This is a movie. So see it. When you see Milk, realize it's not a commercial for anything having to do with a cow. It's a great movie. Before you try, you can never erase those words. That is what America is. And the other big movie is an epic. It's called Australia, and it's directed by Baz Luhrmann, who gave us Moulin Rouge, and who gave us Romeo and Juliet, and Strictly Ballroom, and he makes movies that are gorgeous. Since he is Australian, this is an epic, almost three-hour movie about his own native land. And it deals with the racism there against the Aboriginal people. It stars Hugh Jackman as the drover who's running cattle for Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman looks so uncomfortable in this movie, so stiff. Uh, it's one of those performances that just doesn't work at all. And although Baz Luhrmann cannot compose an ugly shot, I was bored by this thing. This thing would not end. Uh, I don't care how attractive they are. There are a million choruses of Over the Rainbow. Nicole sings it. There's a lot of rah-rah stuff. After a while, you just don't want to look at those cheeky bulls going to market. They throw in World War II. We get the bombing of Darwin. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. And about halfway through, I'm sorry, uh, my interest just went. You're gonna have to be strong. Can you do that? We can't let them win. Come on. So, I'm sad about Australia, happy about milk, but it's scumbucket time. What goes in the scumbucket for the Thanksgiving weekend? A movie that will probably make a fortune. It's called Transporter 3. You know, I was okay with Transporter 1. By 2, I was just out of my mind with boredom, and you can imagine what I am with this one. It stars Jason Statham, who used to be a championship diver, became a model, did a great movie last year called The Bank Job, and here, is just this mob courier that he's played for three movies now. The movie is filled with computer effects. Jason Statham looks bored. Everybody looks bored. So I'm sorry, Jason. You and the transporter are going in the scum bucket with all my friends, especially the chihuahuas. Jason, everybody out there, say it. I chihuahua. I'm Peter Travers.